Alright guys, this is Rainbow-7X here, and today I bring you a demonstration of my really old and very rare Scantronic SC800 alarm panel. This panel is a fully operational panel. I mean, except for the fact that this little door is broken on here. But other than that, this panel works 100%. So I, I just have one keypad for it. I intend to get another at some point, but I just can't find one right now. I don't think I ever will, but um, I'm going to keep looking anyways. You can barely find anything about this alarm panel. You can find the programming manual, and I think the user manual for the keypad, and that's about it. They did make an, L, uh, like an LED keypad for this, where it doesn't have the LCD here, it just has an LED display. But I do not have that. This is the SK1L keypad. It is an LCD alphanumeric keypad. And currently connected to the system, I just have this one motion sensor over here. I don't really know the model of it, it's just kind of a generic one that I got a long time ago. So here's the regular display on it. I'll press the key so it lights up. Uh, it is 4th of July. Happy 4th to all of you guys. And yes, it is actually 1.02 a.m. as well. So, it says ready right there, dot, ready, and then two more dots. That is the regular display. So if I fault this point, if the sensor will work, there we go. Zone 1 violated. It's called bedroom door because I didn't bother to change the point name. Yeah, it refers to them as violated rather than faulted. And this, key, this alarm panel also does support key switch arming, so I do have a key switch set up right there. Let's go through some basic functions of it. I don't have all the functions down, but I've got like basic arming and disarming and uh, a few others. So let me show you a basic arming of the system via the keypad. So you enter your code, press pound. Yeah, if your exit delay, it's set to 10 seconds. Okay, now we are armed. So now I will disarm the system. It's pretty darn simple. You just press your code plus bound. Yep, there we go. We are disarmed. Now to arm and disarm via the key switch. Key switch is kind of left over from really old alarm panels. You used to just have a key switch outside and you would turn the key to turn the alarm panel on and you'd turn it back, turn it off. This essentially does support it, but it has to be a momentary key switch. So I'm pretty much going to turn it, and then turn it back, and it'll arm. And then I'll do it again, and it'll disarm. So here goes arming via key switch. And now let's uh, fault the sensor, and then disarm by the key switch before the entry delay expires. So there is your entry delay sound, and there's disarmed by the key switch. So the entry delay sound is solid. Now I'm going to show it going into alarm. There's no siren hooked up, because it is 1 a.m., as you can see by the display. So I'm going to arm to instant mode. So to do that, you enter your code, plus star zero pound. There we are. Arm instant. So now I'm going to set off the sensor and you will hear the alarm relay click. There goes the alarm relay and it picked up the telephone line as well. So we have alarm, zone one alarm. It's armed instant. So now to silence, you just enter your code, plus pound. There we go. And to reset, you enter your code plus pound again. There we go. We reset. So let me show... Let's just wait a second. I believe the dialer trouble is going to come up in a moment because it's not receiving an acknowledge. Maybe not. 
All right then, I thought that it still had that enabled. Oh wait, no, I disabled the dialer, that's what it is. Okay, now this alarm panel is a little bit different than regular ones. It's got two outputs. It's got your siren output, like it's got two bell outputs. It's got the like burglary bell output and then the fire bell output. The fire bell output takes priority, but the burglary bell output does not have to be a burglary bell output. You can assign it to various things. So mine is set on a timer. It turns on uh, a little bit before midnight and then turns back off at midnight. That's completely unrelated, but I will show you. You can toggle it from the keypad. The commands on this panel are really hard to do. So it is your code, then star, one and two at the same time, four, two, pound. So let's do that. Star, one and two, four, two. Oh, wait a moment. All right. My panel line went down for a second. Not sure why. That's probably a loose connection. All right, let's try that again. There's a click. The relay turns on, so we can toggle it back off. And there's the relay toggle off. So that is the basic functions of it. I will show you how to get in the menu. You press under here, there's more keys. So there's a uh, left, right, up, and down. So to get into the user menu, you enter your code, and then you press the up key. So now we have set time and date. You use these to scroll. We have a set entrance delay. You set the exit delay. You can edit your user codes as edit the zone names. You can call the central station. You can answer a call from the central station. And back to set time and date. So let's press that. For star, for star is pretty much your exit key, and pound is pretty much your save key. Now let's get into the installer menu. It is star and zero, plus your installer code, plus up. I'm not going to show the installer code. I don't like showing default codes on panels, on videos. Okay, so now we have set time and date again. Set entrance delay, set exit delay, edit the user codes, edit the zone names, call the station, answer the call. Programming, that's how you get into programming mode. I'll show you that in a moment. You can view the history, like the event log of the panel. You can send, and you can receive. I believe that is for uploading and downloading with the ScanPro downloader software, which I do not have and I cannot find. If you find that somewhere, please let me know. It'll make this a heck of a lot easier to program. You can copy uh, the EEPROMs in the panel. And back to set time and date. So let's show programming. So in enter programming, you will scroll over and press pound. Okay, now we have telephone lines. You can use these to scroll. Account. There's like, there's like, I think like 80? No. Yeah, somewhere around there, different options in this programming. So it's pretty simple. You can memorize most of it here. I'll show you some of it. See, uh, these codes are the codes that reports to the central station. You enter it in a hexadecimal format. So I'll test code. So here's all these. So once we get it past all the reporting codes, oh, here we go. Open and close and entry and exit delay uh, selections. Or no, that's just the point types. Then zone code, zones that dial out with a delay. Then we have an auxiliary dialing selections. And uh, answer rings, uh, the bell selections, miscellaneous selections, the timer of the switch, the timer uh, window. You can assign that output that I talked about, swinger count, programmable response zones. So, let's keep going. Response time of zones. That is programmable. Silence zones. So, I'll show you in a moment. 24-hour audible zones. Fire zones. Burglary zones. Entry and exit delay zones. And zones entry exit delay group. So, I will show you something. It's super easy to program this. Entry and exit delay zones. You press pound to enter it. 
and you see one is my only zone program for entry and exit delay. This is an eight zone panel, so it makes it really easy to do this. To select a zone, you press its number. So now one and two are there. I can press eight. Now one, two, and eight. I can remove two just by pressing it again. That's how easy it is. Now to save it, you press pound, and you see it underlines under the one, then you can press star to exit. If you don't do that, it will for, it will completely forget that, and it is a hard thing to find a little error in the programming. So always save your stuff. Entrance delay, exit delay. Now that is times by 10 seconds, so if I wanted a 10 second ex uh, exit delay, I'd just put a one in there. I'm not going to say what all these are, I'm just kind of scroll through it so you can see. So there was three different passwords there. There was a panel password, a call password, and the installer code. Panel and call. This is an old version of this panel. This is a very old version of this panel. This panel is about 20 years old, I think. I think it's even older than that, but mine's got the older microcontroller installed in it, so it doesn't have all the features the new one does. Sure has a lot, but some of these passwords aren't used anymore, so the call password and the panel password is kind of like the RAM pass and lockout code, or data lock code on radionics panels. It's pretty much what's let you program it, and the installer code is the installer code. Let's keep going. User codes, user attributes, and zones that users are assigned to, and we go back to number one, telephone. So we got, yeah, 68. Uh, programming options in this edition of this panel. So now to exit, you just press star, and there we are. And now it's going to try to dial out. You heard that click. So it's trying to dial out and report that it's just got programmed. So if there were a trouble on this panel, uh, I'm not going to cause a trouble because it's kind of inconvenient. I will show you the panel board in a second, but how to silence it is you enter your code, plus, and then star nine pound. That's not going to do anything right now because there is no troubles on the panel. So now, let's move this. I'm going to show you the inside of this panel. Uh, there's a lot of wiring mess in here. But that is what the board looks like for a very old Scantronic panel. And it's a very large battery in there too, some wire nuts. But that's what the board looks like. Got your two auxiliary relays, some fuses. It's very dark in here. And there's all your zones. And some other communication contacts, and all over there are your power. And I must say, that enclosure is very well built, compared to the newer ones. So that is... That is the Scantronic SC800 panel. And I'm just going to show a little sneak peek of the other system I'm setting up. This will be very short. Happy 4th of July.